I'm Johnny Two Thumb 17. This is episode 22 of my Football Manager 2018 Unemployed Challenge, also known as Journeyman. And Russia might just have my favorite promotion system. So because we were never in the playoff picture before, I never bothered to look at how promotion and relegation works in Russia. It starts off pretty, pretty simple. The top two teams from the second tier and the bottom two teams from the first tier switch. But then there's a twist. Third and fourth place in the second tier go into a playoff series against bottom, third from the bottom, and fourth from the bottom in the first tier. And I actually kind of love this system. Essentially, you have to prove that you belong. If you're in the first tier, you have to prove that you're better than the people coming up. If you're in the second tier, you have to prove that you're at least as good or better than the scrubs of the first tier. I actually kind of love it. So today we're going up against Orenburg in the first leg of this playoff. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So this is the squad we are rolling with today. We have Markov up top, Gorbanov, Perot, Raz in the midfield, Zamaliev and Kuku Kuchu are our defensive mids. Lely comes in at left back. Pinto is out with a yellow card suspension. Marchenko, Goldan, Yevtiv, our back line, the Lantern is in goal. So we start this first leg away at Orenburg. We do, however, come into the game as the ever so slight favorites. Orenburg has lost four of their last five games and they're all in a row. So their morale is pretty low. So it does put us in a bit of a good position. So I took a look at their stats. This is a team that struggles to score goals. They did concede quite a few. The one thing that was a little bit of a strength of theirs were set pieces. They're sort of middle of the pack in terms of scoring from corners and scoring direct free kicks. So it is a bit of a strength of theirs. That being said, defending those sort of set pieces is also a strength for us. So I think we are actually pretty evenly matched with this team. So corner now for Orenberg. We did mention their strength on set pieces as well as our strength as defending it. The game has sort of glitched out here. I'm not sure what's going on. This is the second time in the series we've seen something glitch out here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he's going forward. All right, we'll put that back. Little hiccup in the system there. They eventually deliver the corner. We eventually clear. Let's just make sure we have everything set up here. We, we Okay, we're good. We're good. Bit of a hiccup. Technical difficulties. Ah, it's all right. Markov should get a shot off. Oh, just puts it past the post. That was a great opportunity. Was hoping that ball might just curl it to the inside of the post. Unfortunately, just doesn't get any spin on it. Not a bad effort though. Nil-nil at halftime. It's a fairly even game. We are winning the battle of possession, but they still have gotten their shots off. It has started to rain, so we may tweak our tactic just a little bit here. Corner now. For Orenberg, they find a player at the edge of the box. He is going to shoot from out there. Again, we are more than happy to let them shoot from, you know, 20, 25 yards out. Another corner, they're going to go with the exact same play. That's all fine. We have plenty of numbers in the box. A dangerous tackle there. And we get punished for it. I'm not sure how he scores there when we have two players on him. We're going to need to see this highlight. I'm pretty sure we had two players on him and we had this covered. I'm not sure what happens here. Ball's bouncing around in the box. Again, two defenders on him, plus the lantern, and he somehow finds the angle to score. Not the way we wanted this first half to start. Lely trying to find Markov. He is a bit of a mistake there by their defender. Markov, again, we know he's slow. Forced to take a shot from outside of the box. We are going to go ahead and just go ahead and make some changes here. We're going to bring on Milosevic for Markov. And I think I'm also going to bring on Sukov for Gorbanov here. We do concede possession here. Bit of an errant pass there. Unfortunately, Orenberg does collect it. We need to put some pressure on them defensively. Because we really need to create an opportunity. They're going to get a cross in. The Lantern looks like he got a piece of it. Looking for Sukov, nods it down. He's going to find Milosevic. Milosevic with the shot. Oh, I hit the post and bounced off the keeper. That was a fantastic opportunity. 
Perot with the corners. Not going to find anybody. Hopefully we should get a second ball here. Zamliev. Not sure why he just didn't give it to Perot in space there. Instead finds Kuku Kuchu, who's forced to reset our offense. Back to Lely. To Sukov. Looking for Milosevic in the box. Doesn't find anybody. Ornenberg is going to be able to reset their offense here now. So time is running out here. The game definitely swung in Orenberg's favor. If we can keep this at 1-0, though, I won't be that upset. 1-0, it's a home goal. We won't be in a horrible position there headed into the second leg. This is probably going to be the last highlight here. Final whistle is going to blow any moment. There it is. So we dropped the first leg 1-0. It's not a great result, but it's also not the end of the world. We're going to go play the next leg at home. I don't think we're in a horrible position. I think we will be okay. We're, we're not in a bad position. We can still pull something out. So the second leg of the playoff series, we're down 1-0. We're playing at home. We're coming into this game as pretty heavy favorites. We're going with Milosevic up top. Gorbanov, Perot, Raz in the midfield. Zamliev and Kukukuchu are defensive mids. Pinto, Marchenko, Goldayan, and Yevtiv are a back line. The Lantern is in goal. Let's just get this match underway. A lot of lateral movement here. I'd like to see the ball go forward a little bit. Kukukuchu finds Milosevic. Looking for Raz in space. Can't quite find him there. Orenberg will intercept. Marchenko looking for Gorbanov. Can't come down with it. We have to be careful here. Not to get hit on the counter. We have plenty. Oh, a double missed tackle. A double missed tackle results in a goal for Orenberg. Wow. That, how did both of our players miss here? They both go for the tackle. Everybody misses. Ball drifts in. We don't close down the attacker. And we are down. Oh, this is bad. This is not good at all. Milosevic to Kuku Kachu. Back out to Gorbanov. Go ahead and knock it in space. There you go. It's going to find Milosevic in the box. Milosevic with a not a greatly executed strike there. So that, that goal is really going to hurt us. Because if we could prevent them from scoring anymore, it basically means that we have to go out now and win this game 3-1. to one, Which is a pretty tall task. Zamaliev with the ball now. Looking ahead to Milosevic in space. We're going to find that. Milosevic with the shot. It was better than his last shot that we saw, but still not able to get that on target. So we're down 1-0 at halftime. 2-0 on aggregate. We have to go out and score three goals this half and not let them score. This is going to be a tough task. We're definitely going to have to tweak the tactic because we're going to have to get a lot more aggressive here. So we did mess around with the tactic. Basically, we just moved everybody forward a spot. So now our wingers are pushed up. Perot's playing as an attacking mid. Our defensive mids are now midfielders. And we're going on the attack. We do get an early opportunity here. Nearly put it in straight from kickoff. It doesn't look like it. The Lantern's taking his time. He's going to find Pinto. Pinto to Zamliev. Zamliev to Raz in a ton of space. Raz now driving forward, trying to get a cross in. It does get blocked, but we do collect here. Perot to Kukukuchu across to Zamliev. Zamliev out wide to Gorbanov to Zamliev. Finds Perot. Perot with a shot. Not a bad effort. Maybe would have liked to have seen him play in Milosevic there. Corner now for Orenberg. Ball is delivered. We are going to clear it, but we're not going to be able to collect possession here. Our defense is settling. Looks like they might get another cross in. Instead, they play to the edge of the box. Ball in. The lantern. The lantern. Looked like he got a piece of it. Again, we had two defenders. We saw before we saw two defenders miss. I don't know what is happening with our double teams here. They are just failing. Orenberg knocking the ball forward. Goldan is going to intercept that. Kuku Kachu to Zamaliev to Perot. Finds Raz in space in the box. Raz... That was a fantastic opportunity. We're getting our chances. We're just not putting them in the back of the net. Ball in from the corner. We can't find Milosevic, but Zamliev collects. We should get a second opportunity here. Kuku Kuchu to Zamliev to Raz. Raz trying to find Perot, just not on the same page there. Throwing now for Orenberg. The clock is ticking away. Cross in. And that, that more than seals the deal. Well... It's been a great run. 
We definitely overachieved. I think we were only predicted to finish seventh. We ended up finishing fourth. Clearly, we are just not ready for promotion. And of course, now we have to ask ourselves all sorts of questions. As Gorbanov drives forward, we're going to have plenty of people in the box looking far post to Raz. Their goalkeeper is unbelievable. We should have had a couple of goals here. Their goalkeeper is just ridiculous. Even the opportunities that have been like surefire things, he has just gotten a hand on. We have to ask ourselves now, would things have been different had I not sold, you know, four starters at the first transfer window? Would we have held on to that top spot? Questions we'll never know the answers to. But I think this, I think we did a good job. I think finishing fourth, just making this playoff, I think, I think that's really good for our squad. We dropped the game. 3-0, 4-0 on aggregate. So that is going to do it, guys. That is the end of the episode. That is the end of our season. Didn't quite go the way we were hoping, but at the same time, I think our club was overachieving. Again, we were predicted to finish 7th. I know we're going to have to ask ourselves again, would things have been different had we not messed with the squad? Maybe, but it wasn't a guaranteed thing. I think the season overall was was a success. Will we, will we return next season? I don't know. Honestly, I'm probably going to look at some jobs, see what's out there. If there is a good opportunity, I may take it. I don't want to go to a bad situation, though. So we're going to go with the offseason. We'll be back next time. We may have a new club. We may not. We'll just have to tune in and find out. Be sure to keep an eye out for a new blog post on teambusquets.com. I'm not sure when I will get around to it, to be perfectly honest, but there should be an end-of-season wrap-up at some point. Sorry we couldn't get promoted. I think it was a good run. I think we did fairly well this season. Be sure to like and favorite the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Help me achieve my goal of reaching 100 subscribers. Follow along with the companion blog, as I mentioned, teambusquets.com. The blog is Will Work For Food. You can find the link for that down below in the description, along with links to all my other social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. You will get all the first updates on there at Johnny2Thumb17. Until next time, guys. Peace.